What's up guys, Quezzy here, bring you guys another tutorial. Um, this one is on um, something that I thought of rather than you guys giving me ideas because everything you guys really suggested was something I was unfamiliar with, uh, like branding and stuff like that, like stuff I don't really do and like I want to be comfortable telling you how to do it because I'm not very knowledgeable on it I guess um the other thing was to like show how to blend stocks and that's really not something you can really teach that's something that you get as you go but yeah so this tutorial is on how to um, make like a techie background finish as you can see right here I have a really simple background what this is is um, basically I started with just a nature scene I added a rectangle and then I duplicated that nature scene, put it above it, and then put a Gaussian blur on at like 6.8. And I added a drop shadow to the uh, rounded rectangle. And then I duplicated the rounded rectangle, put the fill um, right here to zero, and put an inner glow. Um, let me see what I put that to. Um, 7 opacity, and left it white. And then put text on using the layer style I showed in my 2D banner tutorial that I did in Monday. So um, that's basically all there is to that background. And real quick, I'm just going to add some curves, which should look better later on. Alright, so to make this um, like a techie look, um, you just really want blurs and like uh, the RGB effect. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, I did in that 2D background tutorial, but I'll show you in a sec. So basically, I grouped everything together. I'm going to duplicate that group and right click and merge it. So now I have one solid thing. Um, next, I'm going to get the rectangle selection tool and I'm going to get big, long, thin strips. So there's one. Crap. That one's actually a little too thin. So do like that. Do some more uh, shorter thin ones like that. And just a few more. And you can do as many as you want or as little as you want. Doesn't really matter. Um, or maybe it does matter, I just, I don't know. Alright, so then you uh, just copy and paste that. Then it uh, should make a new layer, and then what you're going to want to do is either hit your arrow key to the right or to the left, and it will make this pixely effect. And um, now I'm going to click back on the main layer, um, and now I'm going to make some bigger ones. So I'm going to go like big one right here and like a big one here and I'll do one like in the corner and copy paste it again and this time I'm going to go the other direction so now this is barely you can barely read this right now so I'm going to move this back a little bit so maybe you can read a little more yeah that's fine um, so I might have distorted this a little too much uh, we'll see as we go, but so that's just the basic premise, I guess, if I use that right. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to select all the layers we have, um, and I'm going to right click and merge layers. And now, uh, actually, no, not going to do that. I'm going to merge the two layers that are the duplicated layers. I'm going to merge those, duplicate it twice, control J twice. I'm going to click on the first one click G. I'm going to hit the left arrow key once. I'm going to go to the other layer, click the R, and go to the, click the right arrow once so you can see the little uh, pixelated effect. And um, you can uh, also go to the um, main layer and duplicate it and do the same thing. And I missed it. Um, it might make it really blurry but I mean it doesn't hurt to try it I'm 
So as you can see, it's really blurry. Uh, it's still pretty techy. You can still read it, so I might just roll with it. Let me just compare. Okay, so I'm gonna select these two. I'm gonna merge them. I'm just gonna erase where the text is because it kind of distorts the text a little more. But I'm gonna keep it on the sides because I think it helps with it. So next, I'm gonna merge all these, and I'm gonna hit Control U, and we're gonna take down the saturation just a bit so it's not overly bright. And um, next, I'm gonna add a color, solid color. I'm gonna get a, like a lighter blue something like that and I'm going to set that to uh, an overlay and just bring down this stuff so now everything's a bit blue-ish plants are still green but they have like a bluer tint but everything techy that's blue or everything that's techy kinda has like bluish stuff I don't know blue just works with techy things I guess I don't know um, next we're gonna duplicate this uh, main layer again and this is where you can play around um, you can get really creative uh, you're gonna wanna go to filter and pixelate and there's like a few different options that you can mess around with um, I believe I used fragment last night. yeah and I'm just gonna erase where the text is and just erase some spots here so it's a, kinda like a blur and yeah it kinda just distorts it a little bit pixelates it um, so yeah it's pretty cool and I'm gonna just hide that for a sec, duplicate this again, and the other pixelate one, uh, is it this one? No. There's another really good one. Let me just find it here quick. Crystallize. Nope. I'm probably gonna, it's probably gonna be the last one I pick, I guarantee it. Is it fast? No. No. Oh man, which one haven't I picked yet? I picked that one. It's mosaic. Did I click this one already? Oh no, it's this one. All right. So this is like what you you know like on TV shows. There's like nudity or something, or they swear and they like blur their mouth. This is what that is. So you can like play around with this. It's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna do like that. Erase the text and stuff get rid of some other parts too just have some like that actually I kinda want some on the text that'd be pretty good oh, dang it dang it alright right, there we go it's kinda like some minecraft biz up in here or something alright so there I'm just gonna roll with that I guess so that's pretty cool. It's a pretty tacky look, I'd say. Um, uh, what's the next step? All right, so let me just add this. See if this looks all right. I'll roll with that. All right, so I'm gonna merge all these, and um, quit. I'm gonna go to filter, sharpen, sharpen more. That'll uh, make it more clear. It might make it up more like. Uh, like bright and colored um, depending on how you're like the colors and things if you know what I mean if you see what I'm saying actually you wouldn't see what I'm saying you'd hear what I'm saying but you know what I mean um, so I'm gonna adjust this curves now a little more make it stand out a little bit maybe go a little hardcore I don't know no nope, that's too hardcore I'm not that hardcore that's pretty good and now I'm actually gonna I kinda want this to be more so I'm gonna duplicate that I'm gonna put this on lighten bring this down that's kinda like computer screeny looking <laughs> alright so now that I've done all that uh, I'm gonna go to the part that really makes it awesome and that's some flare so this is rated flare pack that he put out a few months ago and um, I've played around with a few of these flares. I haven't really found a favorite that looks best, um, but I think we're gonna roll with this one. I'm just gonna make it size to fit. Um, 
I'm gonna rasterize it. Um, I'm gonna put that on screen. Put it like right there. Bring down the opacity a little bit. That's pretty cool looking, I guess. Um, yeah, and then uh, if you add some, if you have some nice techie brushes, um, I'm gonna pull up some. If you guys remember my 2D background tutorial, this usually takes a while. I'll go through all my brushes. I'll just use the first few that are here. Um, this one's pretty techie looking. Yeah, see if you'd like to throw some of these in. If I would have done this in the beginning, it'd probably look a lot better. Um, yeah, if you know what I'm saying, like the, the, you can make it really sick. And if you added a glow to this, so if I just went and did outer glow, make it blue, bump it up a little bit, maybe. Yeah, that's nice. That's some nasty doof. Yeah, okay, so that's a uh, simple techie background. Um, and you don't have to use like a nature looking thing. You can use whatever you want. You can just use stocks that you have. You can use like a Tron movie thing or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this has been the fourth tutorial of the Thanksgiving one, uh, the Thanksgiving week tutorials. I hope you enjoyed. I accidentally opened After Effects right there. And yeah, so this tutorial carried on a lot longer than I expected. Mainly because it's 12.33 a.m. on, this is officially Thanksgiving. And um, this was just a spontaneous thought of a tutorial I had. And it kind of didn't roll off as well as I hoped. I kind of forgot some things. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to end this at 12 minutes, although my intro is going to make it longer. So bye.